Microsoft Active Directory Federation Services helps organizations provide users with single sign-on capabilities, making it easier for them to access systems and applications across organizational boundaries. With AD Audit Plus, you can view the claims issued by ADFS and generate ADFS-specific audit reports. To do this, you need to configure your ADFS server manually. Note that you should have added the ADFS server as a member server. Before you begin, we need to allow AD Audit Plus to audit ADFS logon events. Open up the concerned GPO and edit the Advanced Audit Policy configuration. Under Object Access, configure the Application Generated Policy and grant access to both success and failure events. Next, we need to allow access for auditing success and failure on the Federation server itself. Open the ADFS Management Console and edit the properties of the server. Under the Events tab, select both Success and Failure Audit. Apply the changes and save them. Now, we need to configure the claims for the relying parties in order for them to be audited. To add claims, expand the relying parties node and edit claim rules on each of them. The template to be added is pass through or filter an incoming claim. The following rules need to be added in order for them to pass through the incoming claims. Primary SID, UPN, Client IP, Inside Corporate Network, and Proxy. After adding all of the claim rules mentioned, apply the changes and save them. If you would like to enable extranet lockout on the Federation server, execute this PowerShell command on the server. We need to enable the extranet lockout, set a threshold value to an integer that determines the threshold at which the account needs to be locked out externally. The extranet observation window would be the time which determines the interval for which the account should be soft locked out. Make sure that this observation window is lesser than the value for reset account lockout counter that you had enabled in Active Directory. With that, the necessary configurations are completed and ADRF Plus can now fetch the required data from your ADFS server.